uh hi everyone i'm properly audible again right all right thank you so much that was a wonderful introduction and i love to uh, be a part of this community well this is the first time i'm interacting uh, as a speaker to uh, the international audience so hey everyone i'm from india my name is khushi trivedi and i'll be telling you all about git and github in the most uh, beginner way so you don't have to be okay well i'll just be a kind of unprofessional here in order to relate with you in order to give you some references about uh, how i was in my first and second year and everything but before we start i would love to thank you know both of the universities that have collaborated for this event and the lovely organizers uh, thank you for the introduction eliza i i i think i spoke your name right <laughs> uh yeah and uh, yes i'm very very excited so we will be doing with the hands on thing but before that we will start with uh, you know understanding what exactly git and github is well that is not same first of all and git is not a part of github they are independently to other things all right so i am just uh, you know sharing my screen just give me a sec um uh i hope that's visible uh yeah that is if anyone is having any doubt uh please use the chat section or uh yeah please the organizers please uh, uh communicate anything that they would like to uh you know ask me because i'm on this screen now all right so we're finally presenting yes this is the slide uh in case you want the slide deck i will be very very happy to share this so yes become a git ninja now welcome welcome to uh welcome from my part all right so i'm very glad that uh you know the university of manheim and southeast european university have collaborated for this and yes there we go now what's the plan so this is kind of one hour more than one hour it will take but the plan is uh, basically divided into six parts all right the first three is um, installing git all right um, creating a github account introduction to git and github i'll tell you what exactly uh, they mean and the next three is uh, the fourth one is understanding git commands make your very first uh, pr now what's pr i'll be telling you it's called pull request all right and then future scope so i've divided the entire plan into these six things um yes and i and i get to introduce you myself as well uh, i was uh, pretty well introduced and about gdsc yes um i used to be the gdsc lead last year so we have a one year tenure of being the lead of our campus so i was basically the founder of my uh, university gdsc so i was the first gdsc lead and i am also a community person who's involved in microsoft community microsoft learn community so i am at the gold ambassador level and uh, yes i am also a hackathon mentor in april i'll be going for another hackathon to mentor if you know mlh hackathon anyone knows major league hacking it's it's an amazing worldwide hackathon series that uh, that they conduct and uh, it's it's an amazing thing if you would like to know more about community stuff hackathons uh, how do we make projects how do we uh, you know build websites or something you can contact me but yes for now for now uh, yes we are finally starting so yeah drum rolls i don't have any sound but yes we're finally starting and yes installing git now uh, you all must have been uh, shared uh, you know the link a video link a 3 minute uh, something video link of how to install git application in your local system so this is how we do uh, to any one of you who is joining from the laptops or the pc uh, you can scan this qr code meanwhile just give me a second i can uh, drop the link here in the yeah this is the official link i dropped in in the chat uh, from here you can download git 
and i expect you all to download git right now uh, because uh, we will be doing some hands on thing so i will be explaining you how do we do it so for windows uh, i personally have a windows laptop i do not have a mac or a linux uh, so in windows in windows operating system this these are the steps you just go to the link uh, 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 let me just share just a minute all right i'll better share my entire screen yeah there we go cool so yes um we download this application from here so we go in here and then put down the link this is the official website where we have you know for mac for linux for windows i hope you can see the download option right this is the official website of git i'll tell you what git is go to downloads and there you have the three options now for windows you just click in here uh well i already have git installed in my uh, you know uh, laptop however i will tell you it's just one click thing okay click here to download i will be doing so i have a 64 bit windows setup you can search in uh, you know you can go to uh, the the start bar and go to the properties about and there you can find which uh, it if it's a 32 bit system or a 64 bit system so you need to download it in that way i i actually have a 64 bit so i will just click in here just go for stand alone installer don't go for the portal to portable one and there we click i clicked in here and yes you can see it starts to download right this is this is it this is it you just go to the link i had dropped in the uh, you know chat section you go to the downloads for windows you download in here and even for mac yeah even for mac we go there okay i i'll come in here but for mac we do not have a download option okay so here this is the official document uh you actually have brew i don't know what it is i don't have a mac either home brew is another software which helps in installing git in your local system for any uh, mac users for apple products okay so now i have git installed i'll open it i'll click on the, the downloaded thing so i will give the permission of yes and what i need to do is just go on next 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 click on all the check boxes uh like this one yeah just click next text next and then click install that's it for all the windows users all you need to do is go on the link i'm repeating again i just dropped the link uh in the chat section you go there and you click on download the download will show you three options uh are you a windows operating system user or a mac or a linux so you just gonna uh, type in for windows and then you just download it you open it and then do next 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 everything next and then install so i already have installed otherwise i would have done install all right so yeah i'll exit the setup for now because i already have and this is how you install it and it's done all right it's done you don't have to go into any settings or any command line nothing nothing installing git is just two step thing you just download it and then install i hope that's going right in case uh, you're not following it please use the chat section uh, this is going to be very effective and i pretty much hope uh, all right so the organizers here have been planning this event uh, since weeks now and uh, i have been in contact with the organizers uh, since months and uh, we the organizers have you know put up a lot of effort to bring up uh, such a such a huge event uh, you know giving a whole workshop on how to use git and github to make you use it so just make the best time all right of this event um, 
make the best use of their efforts and in case you have any doubts please don't be shy please never be shy and ask any doubt even if you want to know the spelling of github that's that's correct okay bad joke but i was just relating to the analogy anyway so all right moving on for mac os for apple products uh, i don't have a laptop uh, which has a mac operating system however these are the steps so we basically go to the same link i dropped the same link for all the operating systems all right just the difference is you go on download and but for mac it shows the steps the first step is you open the terminal and you basically click on you basically uh, copy this i'll just go in here and i'll paste this So you just open just a sec. <clears throat> okay, so you must be knowing how to open the terminal, right? So by opening the terminal, you first have to install Homebrew. Homebrew, Homebrew is basically uh, a software with which you will be able to install Git, all right? So there's no other, there's just a three-step thing. You open the terminal. In Windows, we have CMD command, right, command prompt. The similar way, this, this is how the CMD looks. This is the command prompt of Windows, right? We have the same, but for Mac, it, we call it terminal. We don't call it command prompt there. So go on terminal and paste this link. Uh, it's not a link, I mean, uh, it's a command. It's a command. And after you give this command, uh, it will be executing uh, some pretty pretty long lines about, yes, it's been installed successfully and stuff. Uh, but just uh, copy paste this link as it is, all right? Now, after you do this command, Homebrew will be uh, you know installed. And now the second command that you need to give on the same terminal, don't close the terminal, you need to do uh, brew install. It. So I'll type here. You can paste it again. Brew install git. I hope I put that correct. Yes. So this is the second command. This is the second command. And after you enter the command, now verify installation. You need to verify. So this is an optional step again. The third step is optional. With the second step, you will install Git successfully. But in case you need to check if Git is installed or not, what will you do is just a sec again, Git version. It's even, it's even in the official documentation. Um, yeah, you need to install Homebrew because it's not already installed, right? So get version. All right, Suraj is saying he has installed Git. I'm really glad. Can you all just comment down how many of you have already installed? I can get a follow up from there. Okay, meanwhile, uh, I am assuming that none of you have a Linux right now at your personal computers. Uh, in case you have, all right, done. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad. So I think it's going well. So I won't be waiting much because we have a lot to cover. And now GitHub. So yeah, let me bring it to the full screen. Now, what exactly is GitHub? So Yes, this, this is the entire QR code that we have and HTTPS github.com. Just go in there and GitHub is based. Okay, I'll explain you again, but just go to GitHub and it's the same as how we go and log in to Instagram. That's it. It's the exact same thing. 
how do, how you do it you do it by your phone number or your email id right so in github you do the same way so i'll open the incognito tab just a sec and i'll just put github so uh well i already have an id logged in let me just log out all right okay i did not sign out yes so this is i hope it could be seen yeah so this is the official website of github how, what do we do it how do we uh, how do we operate github i'll tell you everything but yes this is the official uh, website you can surf it it's a very very cool website all right and what you need to do is in case you're already logged in so there you go if you're new to github i'll just go and create an account and this is how github welcomes you enter your email so well i already have my email however i'll just enter it and check continue email is invalid or already taken so yeah it wouldn't allow me so now that i've got my own email account already logged in i'll just type in and my password And there we go. I just got into GitHub. Now this this ID is uh, completely new, by the way. This is my fresh ID. I just use it for the demos. So this is your brand new GitHub account. When whenever you will come up to GitHub, all right. Oh, I forgot to give you the link of GitHub. Well, it, it was just in the screen, but again. All right, so here's the link. You can, this is the official link of GitHub. And there you go. This is the landing page. Okay, so coming back to the presentation. And what is this? So this, this GIF that you see is called an Octocat. It's half octopus, half cat. And this is the official symbol of GitHub. So GitHub uh, comes up with really, really fun graphics and uh, some really fun uh, characters. And I also have a GitHub plushie and lots of GitHub stickers. And I'll, I'll show you at the end. So yeah, let's come up to actually understanding now what's Git and GitHub. All right, so this is again another start. Till now we were just installing and getting an introduction about what the interface looks like. Well, this is Git. This is the official logo. Now, Git is a distributed version control system. This is the official uh, you know, definition, and it is used for tracking changes in the source code during software development. All right, so now here, here in the session, I expect that every one of you, all the attendees and all the everyone who's present in this meeting is a developer, all right? Uh, I'm not going into you're into designing or you're into something else, you're into DevOps or something. I'm just uh, assuming that everyone here does uh, a little bit of coding, right? A little bit of, yes, know-hows of how, uh, you know, we write a code. Any, any language, I, I just don't care, but I just expect you know how a developer ecosystem exists. Um, so we basically have, consider I have a company or consider Microsoft. Let's take a very well-known example. So Microsoft is a company which has its own products, but it's a software company, right? So uh, consider a software company who makes softwares, all right? If, if I'm, 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 I'm using a software company, I'm having my own software company, I want uh, to build it. So the first thing I will do is make its own official website right? So I will basically hire a team, okay, a team of designers, a team of uh, product managers, uh, who will be, you know, handling everything, the project, everything, and the front end designers, the back end designers, a DevOps engineer and everything. So consider I have a team. Now this team will work together all together 
to make the website. It doesn't happen that the front end person is working first and the back end is working second. After this happens, then it moves to the next step. No, every person is working hand in hand. Now, when too many people work hand in hand in one project, it could be a huge tension because by conventional methods, if we build any project in the college level, state level. So we basically have it a very easy way in hackathons, but it doesn't happen in the corporate world in the companies. So we basically have to simultaneously work. In fact, we have so many, so many, uh, you know, com uh, company headquarters in every, uh, you know, country, every country's each office or each city's office. So we have so many teams working on maybe the same project from all over the world. So how do we manage the conflict issues? Not only any any human conflict, I'm here talking about, uh, you know, the development conflict, the development of the, you know, every software that we make. So we basically track the changes. So I'm very sure all of you might have used Google Doc, right? Google Doc. It's, it's a very common, very, very, very vibrant platform for making documentation, for collaborating, for sharing links, for anything. Uh, we have Google Doc, Google Sheets, everything. Now consider the example of Google Doc. Now consider we all, all of us are kind of making a documentation, all right? Or, okay, let's take an example. We're making an essay, all right? All of us are working on a same essay. So for example, I'm dealing with the introduction part and someone else is dealing with uh, the main part and someone else is dealing with the examples, real life examples. Uh, the person has to note down every real life examples. And the fourth person maybe is, can, is you know, focused on how do we end the essay in a, in a correct way. The fifth person will uh, just check out the grammatical errors. So we, we have our team distributed. Now, while working on uh, the Google Doc, just consider in my essay, someone else wrote something else, which he had to write in his own essay. Now, there is a conflict that in my page, in my paragraph, someone else wrote something else, right, which is not desirable for me. Now, how will I know? Well, Google Doc actually tells this person made this change in here at this time and this date with time and date, Google Doc actually tells which person made which change, right? And where was the change made, right? Was it an addition of some words? Was it a paragraph deletion or something, right? So this exactly, this exact work is done by Git for software developers. That's it. It's that simple. It controls everything, when, where, who, you know, what. So basically it answers who made the changes, where was the changes made and when was the changes done, all right? And yeah, these, I, I don't remember the fourth one, but yes, that's how it goes. So Git is distributed version control system. Now, what, what are these four words? Distributed version control system? All right, so not only tracking the change and determining which change was done when, Git is also responsible for determining the versions. Now consider, consider I'm making a website. Again, a website. Well, I'm a web developer. So I'll give you an example of websites more often. Okay. So, okay. Consider I'm making an app. All right. So I'm making an app and I want to add a chatbot feature. I want my app to have a chatbot. Now I work with my team. All right. We all made a chatbot. Now, when the when the app has got the changes, the, the changes are live on the app and everyone could see it. I really did not feel it's working. I, I just want to delete it. I want to go to the back version. I no, no longer want this because it's not giving me the revenue or it's not looking good or it's not working. Any, any excuse, any, not an excuse, but issue, any issue, but I just don't want the chatbot. I want to shift to the previous version. Now, Git also does this. Not only it is kind of a Google Doc for developers, but it's also a version control system. A version control system uh, that actually defines that uh, which version was when. 
so if i want to pre to shift to the previous version i can with just a click with just a click i can shift to the previous version just like you do a, an undo and a redo button we also have a redo button and an undo button okay so and why is distributed here what does distributed mean distributed means it uh, distributed basically means that all the team members are tracked okay everyone is under the eyes of git so git is yes now you can finally understand i hope git is a distributed version control system used for tracking changes in the source code source code is basically actually the code that is functional and which is live right now okay um, during the software development it allows multiple developers to work on the same project and track every change together right and why is it used for i told you already app development cloud computing bug reporting if i want to report a bug so uh, bug is any issue in the software that we make for example i'm making a chrome extension and for example i'm having an issue the issue is whenever i click on it it doesn't start for example just an example so this is called a bug any issue in your software is called a bug so its features so the first feature as i told already track the revision history so who made the change when was the change made what was the change uh, did i delete something did i add something or anything uh, and where was the change made in the entire code was it made in the first line second line 420th line 780th line which line which paragraph everything everything store the source code so git stores the version so why wouldn't it store the source code of course stores each version created as as discussed merge any code changes so i'll tell you what merge means merge is another term that we use so as i told everything has a new terminology for it right so developers have its own terminology so merge means as as per the name suggests uh, merge means if you made a code and i want to add this co your code to the actual source code i will merge it this is this is basically just understand it in in a very layman term if you wrote a code all right and i want your part to be merged in the original code so i will basically merge it it's it's the term that we use so you know uh, you know assembling your code into the main code or merging your code is the same thing yeah revert to previous code versions if needed anytime and if maybe i reverted back and i want to shift again i can do it multiple times all right stores full development history locally yeah full development history uh, locally so git is basically uh, okay so we all installed git and not github right why because git is uh, functional in your local machine now whenever in the session or whenever after this session you hear, you hear local machine this word local machine this only means your laptop this only means your personal computer right just uh, these are some development developer terminologies that we use if you're new to this you will adapt with it being in the ecosystem but why can't we speak a very simple language i don't know because we are developers and we have to learn this language in order to be accepted in the developer ecosystem you can say i don't have an answer to everything well yes uh, i can explain this one uh, better so version control without git okay so these are the two diagrams now have a close look on it the first one is how a version control actually acts when we do not use git consider you did not install uh, git in your local system now whenever i am making an app i made the first version of my app now i want to add uh, a chatbot i added a chatbot so this is the second version of my app i shifted to version 2 now 
um, I simply wanted that I should also add some filters, filters to my app. So I shift to version three. Now, if I do not use Git, I do not use Git commands and I simply add it to the code that I'm writing. I'm making the changes in the same file. What will happen is I won't be able to shift to the same version with one click. I have to delete the entire thing. All right. Another thing that you can do is copy paste the file that you're working on and work on its copy and not the original file. So you have a you have a copy of it the previously. So this this is what you can do. But when you go into making big softwares that actually rules the world, like Microsoft and Google are doing, so it doesn't work. Consider how many developers are working for them, and if every one of them make two copies of each version and add another version to it and do the same every day how many data would it accumulate which literally has no sense of storing it's just a, a clutter it's not a data so we actually use git in order to shift back or again front in the version so the second diagram tells you the importance of git that version control whenever we use git with the help of git how easily can we with the one click with some with some very very basic commands it will be tough for you to learn these commands you do not have to learn you can simply have google you you already have google for this so you do not have to learn the commands but you need to understand the commands what this command does all right so that you actually know which command you have to use when you do not have to learn them but you need to understand why do we use this one and not this one why are they different and everything so yes version control we can shift to any version anytime now how does this work this might look extremely complicated to you i know because it was for me as well and i used to be very very sad whenever it was never getting in my head what is git i know it's very tough for you to understand for all the beginners out there but i swear uh, this is giving you some exposure about uh, what exactly happens this is just a very very beginning i'm trying my level best to explain you the you know uh, but we'll be coming up uh, telling you every analogy every difference in the future in the upcoming slides i mean not future but yeah okay so how does this work so consider we have three areas okay three stages now repository we have to uh, okay this is the diagram and we do not have to read the diagram from above first read the diagram from below all right the the lowermost thing is repository the the lowest block that we have is repository so what exactly is repository repository means project just consider your project file for example you made a folder in your computer you added uh, an html file you added a css file you added a javascript file okay let's keep it to just html html okay uh, so you have that file in which you have your html code and it is stored in a in a folder all right that folder when you work in git and github you call it a repository just consider this you don't go into what what other things are there just consider when you're working on a project it's called a repository all right now we have repository we have a staging area and then we have a working directory so now now read this entire thing from above it's time for you to read from above to below now the first block that we have is working directory working directory is nothing but that stage that stage when when you actually write your code when you start writing your code from the very first line and you're working on your code we basically call it working directory that means you're working on your code it's a, it's a complex term but it only means the process that you're writing your code so the first process is whenever you write your code from the very first line from the very first semicolon that you put 
you're working on your uh, code okay you're writing a code fine then after i'm done writing my code i want to make this live i want to you know put, put this live so what i do is i put git add now git add is a command which we use to for example in the word document we do control s for saving it here we do git add so git add is basically a control s all right whenever we do a control s in git that is whenever we git add it actually goes from the staging area now it doesn't save automatically just like we do in word word document saves it whenever we do control s but in git we have another process in between saving and actually working now whenever you do control s i mean git add you basically shift it to another process now this process is you have another chance okay so whenever you do git add you means it means you are saving it but this gives you another chance are you ready to commit with your changes you need to commit all right with git commit we basically mean commit are you ready to to you know save the changes are you actually ready to save the changes it will ask you again and again so not again and again but yes just to make you understand so i'm working on my file i'm explaining that again i'm working on my file i started writing my code from the first line and i'm writing i'm writing my code and i finally want to save it so rather than control s i will do git add all right now after git add i have to git commit all right it doesn't save after git add we have to do git commit and after git commit it will be saved all right it's a two step thing in in word document we just do control s and it saves but here we do git add and then git commit so that we do a double verification check just like in the google account we actually have an otp system in the, on the phone right so this is how we do in here as well it does a double verification that you want to save your code you want to push your code okay i'll come to what push and pull is but again so yes this is how git looks like you you see this picture this is exactly how git looks like i'll i'll show you just give me a sec so git is this this is git bash this is git i was explaining you and you all must be thinking like what's going on why are we learning so much into something that looks this way it actually has a point because we have to use it in the form of commands not by uh, you know clicking and uh, you know selecting or something we use git by commands so how do we use it again by using it that means git commands what commands i just now told you git add git commit so we have these all commands now these are not the only commands but yes we have git clone git add file git commit git init git status git pull git merge git push again git fetch and um okay again a git branch and then you give the branch name git config uh, we ha we have pretty much but i am remembering it because i use it very often i did not learn all any any of these git commands no need to learn just don't stress yourself okay so let's see how this works you need to scan this qr code meanwhile uh, this is an octocad character that we have so this is the official uh, the designers of github are really really doing some pretty good stuff with designing the characters and this gif actually tells uh, yeah the vibrancy of github github characters it's an octocad it's a cat and also an octopus okay so i'll just uh, just share this this is again an official documentation uh, you just go to google get cheat sheet and there you go by github education you get this
Thank you, Shivam. Thank you. I just saw the chat section. Okay, so this is the GitHub cheat sheet. And it tells you each and every command. I told you not to worry. Don't learn any command. Just know what each command does. That's it. That's the, it's that simple. You don't need to learn. You're not no more in school. You are now independent for taking your own, you know, commands. So I don't want to learn this. Fine. Don't learn it. No one's uh, after you. Okay. So it starts. Uh, let me just explain in a very short thing. Um, <clears throat> This is the cheat sheet. It's a two page cheat sheet and you barely will use uh, the first one, the first page. So, OK, the installation, it tells you for Windows, go here, for Mac, go here, for Linux, go here, for all platform. OK, now we already did this. All right. We already did this. Uh, just in case you joined late or you missed it, we'll have the recording as announced. So, yep, the setup we use git config global user.name. Now, I'm very excited to show you how this works. But firstly, I'll explain you. Set a name that is identifiable for credit. OK, so just give me a sec, git bash. I'm opening git bash. So yeah, I'll put it here. I'll, I'll move the screen as per how you could be able to see. Now, under setup, we have git config. I'll just copy. Uh, consider I don't know anything, OK? So it's git config. We have a double minus sign or a dash we can call global user dot name. Now, what I need to do is uh, double quotes. Uh, OK, and now. First name, my name is Khushi, and then Trivedi, and then close the bracket, uh, close the double quotes. And I exactly copied this git config, exactly what's written in this PDF. I'm copying exactly this, but instead of first name and last name, of course, my name is not first name. So I'll write my own name. You write your own name in case you're doing it along. I'll be very happy if you're doing it along. Um, and this is how you go and then enter. Put an enter. Nothing happened. Well, why will anything happen? Because I am actually just, just telling my name is Kushi. Hey, Git, my name is Kushi Trivedi. All I did is telling Git my name. Why am I telling Git my name? It's already in my laptop. Why can't it just track it? No, we need to tell it because any change that I will make will come with this name, Khushi Trivedi. Just in case I wrote any other name, any changes I make from this laptop will be from that name. So I'm just telling this laptop belongs to this person. Now I will also tell uh, what's my email. So I'm just typing in this one, git config dash dash global user dot email. And I will use the same email that I used for signing up at GitHub. I used another email, but I, I will use the same email. This is my email. This is my name. Oh my God. OK, so there was a typo error. Yeah, I see. This is a typo error. Why am I getting so big thing? Because it, it shows error unknown global. Uh, I don't know the spelling of global. So it's giving me this. So OK, another try. I can give another try. Git config dash dash glow B A L. OK, right. User dot email email spelling correct. Then. So you need to try. Typing sometimes really slow because you can exchange the words just like I did right now. Correct? So no error, but no output as well. Every time it doesn't give an output. Now I will just, uh, OK, so this, the third one, git config global color, is just to change the color. Uh, git is in uh, green and uh, 
you know purple if i want to change the colors i can change the colors but i personally don't like to do it right now because we have much more things to explore so yeah that's it now to set up git in it i will use this okay so i'll take you to my github account so this is okay this is my existing github account yeah that's me and <clears throat> well you must be thinking we were talking about git all the time right now why am i switching to github okay so just to tell you that i use this uh email just a sec okay so yeah i use this email and i want to go to home and consider okay consider this is my friend and i want to have one of okay so he made okay so he made a tic tac toe all right i'll go to this repository just in case i want to download this repository through git i'm not shifting from the topic no don't get me wrong what i'm doing is telling you how do we set up now these are the commands git in it we enter this means we initialize that we are starting a new repository now in github we can download but instead of downloading we developers need a very hardcore huge thing to do so we basically git clone all right and instead of control v we manually have to right click and paste it and now we click enter so it's it's saying cloning and it will clone it so here here is here is what i downloaded uh no user and then okay so tic tac toe this is the project that i downloaded it has been downloaded here can you see this <clears throat> this is yeah a c plus plus file i wouldn't open it because it will be again more complicated i have to uh, you know set up the uh ide for this okay what's ide i'll tell you exactly everything but i just want to tell you i wanted to download a project from github i'm sorry there was a question in the chat uh daniel wrote repeat the git clone thing again please okay yeah. sure thank you um yeah i'll just repeat it so okay so just don't go into what did i do right now i'll explain it again just give it some time what i want you to notice right now is i okay i'll close this git i'll just close this right now okay i just want to explain you how do we set up and initialize that's it i don't want you to you know uh, know what is github right now how do we do it how do we uh, go to any repository just don't go into any of those nitty gritties consider uh okay consider i am given a a project link all right and i want to download the project from that link that github link all right what i'll do is go on git <clears throat> i'll initialize it because it says git in it i don't know anything i'm reading everything from the pdf all right i i personally don't know anything please believe me now i do an enter all right so what did it say reinitialized existing git repository all right because i downloaded it right now uh, let me just delete it let me just delete this okay i deleted it all right there's no tic tac toe we cannot find anything yeah now we just go to our terminal again this is we call it terminal you can call it a terminal a nickname now you do git clone and now instead of copy paste you you have to right click and paste close uh, the you know uh, this and then it's cloning cloning means downloading i'll just check again if i have downloaded a tic tac toe 
I'll I'll enter T. And yes, we have a tic tac toe here. Let me open it. It has it has been downloaded. If I open it, it will be opened to my VS Code because I have installed VS Code. I'm not going into what's VS Code. How is it showing this? I'm just telling you. <clears throat> I'm just telling you. If I'm given a GitHub link of a project, how do we download it using Git? Now you give me some like five ten minutes time. I'll tell you what exactly we do with Git, GitHub. I was just telling you how do we use Git? Oh, uh, you know, actually, how do we download using Git? Because okay, uh, I'll just tell you few more references. Uh, just hold on. Coming back to here. Okay, so this is the cheat sheet. I gave you the link. You can uh, download this cheat sheet or view it on the web anytime. All right, coming back. Yep, coming back to here. Now, yes, it's glossary time. What's repository? So, repository, as I told you, it's kind of a project file that we use. Okay. Don't go into much details, if and buts. I'm just telling you this is a repository. Now, time to explore what's GitHub. First, I'll explain you what's GitHub. I'll explain Git clone very, very again, and the entire uh, config, everything, every config command. But what's GitHub? Now, come to what's GitHub. I told you everything about Git. Okay, what's Git? I told you Git is essentially this is how Git looks. I told you how Git looks. How do we operate it? We operate it using the Git commands, Git add, Git commit, right? And this is how we control versions. And it's a version control system for tracking the changes. We track changes. We download it in the local file, everything. Yes. And we have Git commands. These are some of the Git commands, actual Git commands that exist. Uh, with every every explanation I gave you in the chat section. And yeah, again, this is the cheat sheet. You can scan it again. Uh, don't forget to take the screenshot in case you would like to have a copy of any of the slides right now. Coming to what's GitHub. We did a revision again. Coming to what's GitHub, in case you have any confusion, now we will come up to what's the difference between Git and GitHub. So yeah, here. Don't worry, I'll tell you everything, every explanation. And my slides might look uh, weird, but it's actually not explaining anyway, everything. Now, what's GitHub? So Git and GitHub has no relation. Like Git is, uh, Git is a short word, so it's a part of GitHub. No, GitHub is extremely independent thing. We relate it somehow. All right, we relate it, but they are two different things. Two different things. We use one of them to take help from the other. That's it. I'll explain you. GitHub is globally recognized as most advanced and reliable development platform where millions of companies and developers build and maintain their softwares individually or otherwise. Okay, I don't understand what's GitHub. I understand what's Amazon Prime. This is Amazon Prime, OK? Uh, these are some Indian genres. So we have Amazon Prime, but this is on Google. I'm using Google browser, all right? But I also have Prime Video for my laptop. Yes? Not going much into it. We have GitHub. We have GitHub. This is exactly what GitHub is. But we also have GitHub desktop. You simply just go in here and download it for your desktop. Just like Amazon Prime Video, we have a version. We can see every movie, right? We can download every movie. But we also have a desktop version, right? An app, the similar way we have GitHub, right? Clear? Now, what exactly it is? OK, so GitHub is a place where we store <clears throat> our projects. 
I'll show you how do I store my projects. So this is my GitHub profile, right? And yes, these are my repositories. This is my private repository that I'm working on right now. Um, this is an open source repository. This is another repository I made for another session and yes. Now, why am I using repository instead of project? Just consider both are the same words. So this is my, uh, you know, first project. This is my second project. This is my third project equals. This is my first repository. This is my second repository. This is my third repository. All right. Now. Oh, I'm sorry. Yep. This is Instagram. All right. This is Instagram. You can see this is Instagram. Why do we use Instagram? We use Instagram to store pictures and videos, to make memories, right? To add captions, to add everything. Why do we use Git? Why, sorry, GitHub. I'm so sorry. Why do we use GitHub to store our projects, right? So it's basically a very professional Instagram that we use it, right? Now you all must be thinking, once I gave you an example of Amazon Prime, now I'm giving you an example of Instagram. What's happening? I'll tell you, just have patience. GitHub is globally recognized as most advanced reliable development platform. So if I'm working on my project, I'll upload it to GitHub so that people can see it, all right? People can have a view on it. People can collaborate with it. Just like on Instagram Reels, if I want to collaborate in some Reels, we can. If I want to make a reaction video of any existing reel to remix it, we can, right? I hope you all would have used Instagram a lot. I do actually. Um, so we basically maintain our projects. We can edit. Okay, for here, we can make changes to our project. We cannot make changes to the post that we did on uh, Instagram, but we can make changes to the project. I am actually making a lot of changes to my project daily. So this is, uh, I'm making, I'm editing my resume website. And yeah, okay, this is how it looks right now. It's it's a pretty simple website for now, but I'm making changes. I first made the home page, then I added the social icons and I'm continuously. So with this, you can see I'm continuously making changes. So there was no, no, no activity because I did not make this project. I initiated it and that's how it's going. So this is the difference that on Instagram, you cannot change your post. You cannot edit your video that you already uploaded. But on GitHub, you can anytime, uh, you know, change uh, your project, <clears throat> change the name of your project as well. So can only I make changes? No. There are organizations that actually build their entire software, their entire company on GitHub. For example, I'm sitting here. Some of you are sitting there. Uh, there's a person who's sitting in maybe Sri Lanka or someone in China or someone in US. So we five, six people are having a team and we're making a software. So we can use GitHub to do so, all right? We can do GitHub to do so. Now, <clears throat> this platform is for working, maintaining, and tracking one's public or private repository that offers a cloud-based repository. Now, this is the same that we learned in Git, right? That it also tracks and maintains. But here the difference is, we actually, just a sec, yes, we actually track changes, right? We we track the changes. Uh, you, you can see here, I, I wrote this track the changes, and in here I wrote track changes again. But there's one difference. You wouldn't see Git in the browser. You can see GitHub in the browser. This is GitHub. I can operate GitHub in browser. I... I can also download this, but I did not have downloaded GitHub in my browser. I do not have a GitHub. See, 
this is not a github it's it's a search uh, you know result it's a search result i do not have github here i don't have right but i can still use github but on the other hand i cannot use git from the browser all right i cannot use git from the browser i will have to download git there's no way you can use git from the browser but why is it important okay i'll tell you for example i am setting up an email all of you must be using email for sure for sure so in case i am writing an email and i'm saving it as a draft i did not send the email the email will be say, will be you know noted as a draft now i have a question whenever you log in from your phone when i open gmail on my phone will i see the draft message yes but how i use my laptop to do to to do so i can also see all the emails that i received and sent on my phone as well as on my you know laptop how is that happening well the answer is it's a cloud based system what's cloud cloud is a cloud now why are we uh, you know uh, relating those cloud with this thing with with computer science well basically we took an example that whatever cloud is something that's situated up above in the sky and everyone can see it everyone so that just like you can see the moon right now right you can see the moon even i can see the moon right now so this is exactly how it happens so to the sky everyone can access from any location this is what i want to say so if my location is phone i can i can check any gmail updates from my phone if i do not have my phone or even if i have and if i want to check my gmail updates from my laptop i can do so from any location from anywhere and this is called cloud computing and this is called cloud so github it, the main difference in git and github is github is a cloud system but git is a local system git is a short word so it's a local system which actually operates on your computer your personal computers your laptops all right but github can operate on your laptop as well uh, we also have a github application and ios application and an android application as well i can use github from my phone as well but i cannot use git from my phone github could be used but git no we do not have an op option to download git on android right we don't have on ios we don't have but we only have it for computers this is the difference i hope i made myself clear i'm being very very repetitive but yes so this is the difference and coming up with more difference i'll tell you now another analogy why this instagram example comes up every time because it's easy for me to explain you uh, i know i i i have been there uh, at your place where a guest speaker would come up and explain what's git and github but i still couldn't get it after so many sessions but i'm trying my level best to explain you that instagram is a social media platform but open source or github is a social coding platform so right now i'm uh, open source is uh, could be uh, you know taken as git and github thing so i'm i'm putting git and github as a whole bundle and i'm calling it open source open source actually has a meaning but for now i'm just telling you that open source is a coding platform it's a social coding platform people socially use it accept it collaborate it and that's how it goes just like instagram so instagram again you share a post using videos and pictures on in on github and uh, git that is open source you share a repository instead of post with using code designs resources documentations and stuff now another one instagram whenever you double tap you actually like someone's post it's a heart right in open source or git and github we have a star let me just show you give me a sec 
This is a star. I hope you can see. Uh, uh, you can see a star at every repository. So I put a star, I have started. That means I liked it. Similar to what we do in here. I opened this post and I did like. And I opened this repository and I did a like. Oh, I unliked it, but yeah, I did like again. So this is exactly what I'm saying. Again, open source means you can comment on someone's Instagram post, but can we comment on someone's like GitHub? Yes, we can. So these are the comments. I'll post my own comment. Wow. Okay, cool. I hope they do not have a problem with it. With uh, <clears throat> this one, we can have a comment as well. So where do we put comment? Even I don't know. Just give me a sec. Uh, 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 uh. Come on. Uh, let's comment on index.html. So where do we have a comment? I cannot find it. I'm so sorry. Uh, 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 uh. We have a comment. I did add some comments. I cannot find where. Okay, but we do. We do. I'll, I'll tell you. I can't find the comment. Okay, we, we, if we have a comment in pull request, we do have. Whenever we open a new pull request, we add it. Uh, we don't have a pull request right now, but we I, I'll, to, I'll tell you the comment thing in pull request while we'll, doing, uh, while we'll be doing a pull request. Okay, so this is how commenting works. So this is a basic example that open source and social media platform is having so much in common. Like Git and GitHub is having so much in common with Instagram, right? I told you. And again... So coming up now, <clears throat> before we move on again, I am coming up to GitHub and I'm telling you what an interface of GitHub looks like. Um, so you can see this picture right here. So this is my profile. It says my profile, my account, my repositories just like on instagram you have your post you have repositories here ignore your projects it's it's nothing ignore copilot as well copilot is a very big thing which helps you i'll tell you at the last your stars how many stars you've received uh if you've been sponsored for something or you got sponsorship and then we have documentation support community sign out so this is I can even go to my profile. I can change my profile picture, whatever it suits me. Oh, okay, we also have an avatar here. So yeah, we have a custom uh, you, you know, username here. So just in case anyone would like to connect with me uh, and would like to check out the profile. Okay, uh, would like to check out the profile, it's here. So here we add your bio. I did not add much. Um, I added my college and it's it's my you know website and then it's my hash node and then it's my YouTube. I added all my links. Now these are some achievements. Uh, if I made many, okay, so this is a graph which shows how many pull requests I made, how many issues I uh, made and solved. Uh, the code reviews are no, I did not make any code reviews, but I made uh, 86 commits, uh, commits, I'm so sorry, slip of tongue. So by unlocking the amount of commits and the pull requests and issues, you can simultaneously unlock some achievements. So it's kind of a cherry on top of your profile. It actually doesn't matter much. And I, uh, you can see how much active you've been in 2023, 2024. I wouldn't open because I've been pretty un inconsistent. So these are the edits. But you wouldn't see because I made it in my personal repository. So you wouldn't see the entire edit thing because I'm working on some... Uh, private repositories 
two of them are private so yeah so you can have a private repository as well as a public repository it's dependent on you just like you archive your instagram post but you can unarchive it anytime or you can pin any of your things you can also have a good bio i do not have a good bio i do not add any bio right now so you just update a readme and there you go in case you want to search someone uh i want to search someone like i want to search parag so parag is is one of my friends oh sorry i'll just go to home okay there's a home page pull request projects everything so i want to search someone i can search eddie hub community it's a community uh you all should join it's a free of cost community which tells you everything about open source git github everything so eddie is uh, a person who's an organizer of google developers group london and he's also a github star this is eddie's profile and yeah eddie and i have been talking on uh twitter and he told me a lot about github about open source and this is his profile now this green graph is the tiles that you see is basically you know it tells you how many contributions you made in each day now this is october 29th and there were no contributions but october 30th eddie made 16 contributions and there you go every every day we have you know every contribution now just in case i would like to have a look on how much active eddie was in 2023 we have this we even have streaks you know just like snapchat streak we we have uh, you know github streak how much have we uh, you know added in so you can see this graph as well it changes with the year every year has its own graph and this graph actually tells you the distribution of commits pull request issues and everything so it's basically just a reflection of your profile uh, on github how much have you contributed and this is this is a readme which he put up as a bio and you can update your readme as well so this is how a github profile actually looks this is how github looks i told you how git looks now this is how github looks um i want to go to repositories that eddie has eddie actually has 266 266 repositories right now currently now this is the bio that we can see uh these are the websites that he has he has a 8k following like pretty good number these are the achievements he has unlocked i have nothing in front of him uh the organizations he's a github star and uh, yes so if i want to star his repository there i go i just put a, a star to his you know repositories and then i can open any project like just like i open an instagram post in order to see right uh consider 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 we have this post all right by microsoft life and there are pretty pretty much amount of pictures added in there i moved to the second picture third picture fourth picture and for this i open i open someone's profile and go to the post in order to read every comment every caption every hashtag uh what was the post about how many likes did it got right for the same thing i open the repository so this is eddie's profile <clears throat> i go to his repository i just click in here the the way i open the instagram thing the same way i'm opening this and instead of looking for uh, instead of sliding the pictures and checking the comments and hashtags and everything i'm checking these files this is a readme file readme is basically uh, a documentation a description all right readme is readme equals to description so readme tells you everything about the project so in readme you basically write the entire description of your project that this is my personal project or this is my company project or something so these are some tags we have hashtags these are the hashtags we have right just a sec yeah these are the hashtags hashtag #diversity and inclusion everything 
here we have the hashtags. We don't call it a hashtag. We call it a tag as hack to buffest github github profiles and everything so i pretty much told you everything if i want to download and so this is a project that eddie made right now i want to download this i can simply go on download zip file and with the zip file you need to extract that and so on but being a developer you can do this but you also should know how to make use of the url now this is the url of for example how do we get a url of an instagram profile how do we do it so we basically go in here we do copy link right or we basically share to and then we just copy link or show the qr code right in here we have we need to click on this green button that says code and it it gives you some options that uh, that you need to download the entire zip file. So consider I'm downloading it. I just clicked on it. See, it's downloaded. Now, if I open this, this is Eddie's file, right? Just now in front of you, I downloaded this. <clears throat> and this is the Eddie's file that I downloaded. Now, you can see all the files that I have in here. We have a github folder we have the same here we have a git ignore we have a git ignore here git pod we have a git pod here code of conduct entire file entire file we have in here if i open the readme this is the readme all right but if i open the readme the code will be shown like this okay uh this is this is an ide this is vs code what's an ide ide is a platform which tells you how how to write a code okay don't don't get into much into it but yes so this is entirely like instagram and you the first time you ever you know installed instagram in your life the first time ever you did you were never confident right you were pretty much into i shouldn't post anything uh weird or something you were very uh, very vigilant about it similarly the first experience with GitHub will be the same, but I bet you, if you use it for like, I think one week or something, it's a very, very simple thing, a very, very simple thing. But now I would love, uh, I would like to tell you about how do we actually see, uh, now I told you everything, where's profile, how do we put projects, now i'm going to tell you some basic terminologies of github i told you everything where can we have the profile where can we search where can we have the home screen this is the home and everything now this is watch now what's watch it basically tells you how many people are mentioned in here and which people have which everything is in watch that how many people are mentioned with at the rate sign tagged in here all right what's fork fork is something uh that's not a utensil one what's star star i told you already it's a like button so in this post um uh, it doesn't show how many likes we have but in here we have 189 likes so 189 people started including me so if I unstar it, it's 188. So it tells you how many people have liked this repository. Now, what's pull request, what's issues, and what's this? Branches, tags. So I told you about tags, but what's branches? I'll tell you just a sec. Now, coming back in here to understand, this is the second last part. Uh, I wouldn't take much of your time. I would take you to, uh, just after explaining these three, four terms, I'll take you to a quick, uh, you know, a five, 10 minutes uh, more, you know, uh, a workshop thing, the main workshop, but I need to explain you everything so that you could confidently have a, a foot on the workshop. Now, what's fork? We just now saw this, right? It says fork and after fork, it says 261, but after start, it says 189. That means 189 people start this repository made by Eddie 
all right and 261 people forked this repository now what does fork mean if i fork a repository what does it mean okay so consider uh, you have your aunt's recipe all right you are moving to the hostels and uh, you're moving on your own and you finally uh, have your mother's or your aunt's recipe book i know it's not even valid in this time we have internet but just consider just consider an example now you have a recipe to make uh, maybe pasta right pasta you have a recipe to make a pasta but now you would love to add your own ingredients okay you have a whole recipe do this boil this add this right uh, add salt only after this you have your entire recipe right you entire a uh, code of conduct you can say or uh, you know how do you make a pasta for example but i would like to add some other ingredients for example and i would like to add some other vegetables all right so i make my own changes into it so this is exactly what fork is eddie's repository i want to have his project and i downloaded his project but now i want some custom changes to this project i don't want this project entirely i want to make some custom edits according to according to me i want to make my own edits but in this profile in uh, sorry in this uh, project so i download this project all right so you either download it and do it in your local system or in the best way in a developers way how developers do it we essentially fork this so consider i fork this i'm forking it create a new fork all right so this means eddie has already uh, given me a recipe of codes to make maybe a website a recipe to make a website but i want some other ingredients i want maybe uh, i want to add a navigation bar a fixed navigation bar uh, to my website it shouldn't uh, scroll it should be fixed all the time so i will just fork his repository now forking means to make on my own copy to do a photocopy to do a photocopy this means uh, to do a xerox all right to uh, to make a xerox and then i will create a fork create fork i'll i'll just click on it <coughs> it's forking kushi just very quickly i'm so sorry to interrupt you because it's really wonderful <laughs> so far just in half an hour the call would end and okay. we just want like five ten minutes at the end for the questions so i don't know how much time you need for the interactive part or uh, yes yeah, yeah. I'm, i was about to ask yeah yes I, i'm very sorry to interrupt you i just wanted to let you know that uh, uh, no worries. So I, 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 I think that can fit in the time. <laughs> sure, sure. I will just have a look on. Uh, I barely have three, four more things to explain. Then we'll uh, move to this. Okay. So yeah, thank you for telling me. Uh, so I have forked this. The branch is up to date, and it shows forked from Eddie Jordes. Okay, Eddie's full name is Eddie Jordes. So. this tells that i have forked his repository now any change that i make any change that i make will not affect the original recipe the original repository what eddie has this is my own copy this is my own copy that i have it will be shown in my profile just see yes my repository count has changed to 16 now so this is added to my profile and the name of the repository was eddie itself so it's showing this way i have the entire thing but i have forked it right this means to fork it now why is it showing zero star zero because this is my own copy that was eddie's original copy but this is my own copy and there are zero watches zero forks zero stars because i just made it now whatever change i do it wouldn't actually affect the original repository 
let me show you just one thing okay at the first line i do enter 10 times and i add my name khushi trivedi i enter i just save the changes yeah this is it this has been shown now i go to eddie's actual actual web uh, actual uh, repository where it was it does not even have a change can you all see this i'll show you again there's not even one change in his repository but this is my repository i open it from my it says kushi trivedi before the image but in eddie's profile it shows nothing so this is what fork means it means having your own copy having your own copy of it. So I'm just giving you an example with the recipe book. Now, understanding commit. I told you a lot, commit, commit, commit. Okay, it's, it. you know what's commit. Of course, everyone know what's commit. But in open source, it's kind of a double check, all right? So basically, let's understand all of us are working on a puzzle. We all are making a puzzle. And I am adding my own piece to the puzzle it's the same like we all are working on a project and i'm adding my code i was till now i was working on the search bar i was editing the search bar of the website for example and you were making the uh, landing page or someone else was working on the filters and someone else was working on something else background so uh, just to commit means to add my piece of puzzle on the actual puzzle that we are working on this is exactly what commit means it's nothing more commit is just are you sure are you sure sure it's that it's just a word that commit commit but you will get to know whenever you'll use it very often it's that simple and now pull request so pull request uh okay so in github in git github we do not use if or save as instead we use commit all right it's that simple now pull request so pull request consider we're writing a book right we're all working on a book now we're into literature we know more software developers we're into literature and we all are finally writing a book i'm writing the first chapter this someone else is writing the second chapter you are writing the third chapter and that's how it goes now before finally assembling the chapters I'm writing on my, I'm, I'm working on my first chapter. You are doing your second, third. Now, finally, the book is complete. We all wrote our own chapters. What we'll do is just see in here. Each, each team member writes their own chapter, all right? And now it's my time. It's my time that I share my copy with you. You share your copy with someone else that person shares with me. We just exchange it. We just jumble it. Oh, just have a look at my thing. And you just have a read of what I wrote, what grammatical mistakes or what feel does it give. And you just cross check if I wrote it correct or there's a, there's, there's a thing or not. If you approve it, uh, I, I give a I, I get a validation. Okay, my my chapter is complete. Okay, their chapter is complete, and this is how it goes. So this is pull request. We basically just you know give a, a you know question mark. Can we finally merge it? We just uh, ask the second person. Can you finally check this? And that's how it goes. Now I'll show you. All of you just pay attention. Now I'll show you. This is the last part. This is the final part. Um, okay, I'll. What should I name this repository? Um, what should I name this? Okay, Git Ninja. Git Ninja. I'll name this repository as Git Ninja. Git dash Ninja. I'll add the description later on. So. I will, uh, this is how I'm creating a new repository, all right, in front of you all. It's a public repository so that everyone can have uh, a view on it. I'll add a readme. Readme is just a description file. It's like caption of your Instagram post. So readme is the caption of my repository. 
but besides readme can actually uh, include links it can include uh, pictures and stuff i create my own repository that's how we do it's that simple it's that simple now what i'll do is i'll add a branch i'll uh, just do <clears throat> new branch okay so just give me a second i'll uh, start sharing my screen again yep this one i hope that's visible cool and i want all of you to please open your github right now we actually have a short of time and yeah we took too much time in uh explanations uh 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 yeah just wrapping up what you need to do is open this repository i'll copy the link okay here is the link in the chat section just go to this link just go to this link uh every one of you i'll i'll write to read me okay so this is the read me that i'm writing and here you can find commit changes instead of saving now i commit the changes this is the commit changes as soon as you go to the profile you will see this updated and just have a read this tells you what what you need to do actually this tell you and follow the steps and the steps that i'm follow that i'm making you follow is just give a sec more all right so i'll add a new file create a new file <clears throat> and i'll commit the changes okay it's loading it takes time add a new file we can upload any file as well i just paste it here i'll put my file name as uh as 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 name.html and then i commit my changes we commit changes we do not save we commit now as soon as you go to this what you need to do is we are all making our own first Pull request on this repository. So what you need to do is fork this repository, as I forked it. All right. First step is fork the repository. Now create a new branch. Now what I'm going to do is again. Um, just give me a sec more. I share my entire screen again. okay so now just follow along and you will end up doing a really you know cool thing so yeah a girly geek uh, this is this might sound cringe but uh, this is my another github profile and what i'll do is i'll go to the link that i told you this is the link ninja this is the link what you all need to do go on fork click on here create fork that's it you made a fork you fork this repository it's just two two way thing you need to go here fork it and then come back don't fork that again if you've made your own copy don't fork that again all right don't fork that again now the second step you can read here itself create a new branch how do we create a new branch go here you can see main 
view all branches and then new branch every new button is with this name now sorry with the new branch you need to make a new branch of your name my name is kushi right i'm 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 entering this name i create a new branch it's that simple second step done all right second step is done what's the third step in the folder where in the folder index.html okay i i did it name.html you will find okay just go to this branch just now i made a branch i did not uh, i did not uh, exit from the page go to your own name branch i i i'll go on khushi that's that's my branch so now i have two branches the main branch and then khushi you will have the main branch and your and the branch of your own name right the first name just the first name whatever details i have you need to edit this so go to name.html just go there click on edit this file all right and wherever you find your name just write your name this is khushi trivedi correct again your name i'll do khushi trivedi city name well you must never have heard my city but i live in bhopal a uh, designation i'll just put final year student cool and you can write a small reason here or you can uh, i'll just uh, skip it now here github profile url so i will put my github profile i will edit this url as https github.com slash this is my github username cool and i am on twitter with this username i'm done with uh, all the changes cool finally i'll go commit updated name.html commit the changes you've done it you've made the changes now go back go back to the repository again your your repository go to pull request and there you have you just made a change you just copied my repository my project you made your own copy you made whatever changes according to you you added your name you added your your uh, you know uh, uh, twitter you added your github account your github link you did your own way you added your own ingredients and now you want me to you know have a check if i did it correct or not for that you do a pull request if it's a good one it will uh, okay and here is what you write in the comments here is the description and after you do it uh, okay updated my name this is optional now i click on create pull request and it's done if it has no conflicts it will be merged again now this is a comment section here i'll just put a hey you should not do it developers don't put hey and hello but i'll do it and i'll comment it so this is the comment section i was talking about before which i couldn't find but i just did a comment so this is a hey and it tells everything so let me just have a look at my project how many people forked it yep three people till now forked it wow that's nice all right and i got my own pull request just now what i did with my thing so this is how you create your own pull request now i am actual a uh, person who's dealing with uh, you know who's sending the pull request and who's not i can actually merge the pull request but i wouldn't do it right now because it's again a complex thing you first check the code if it's correct or not 
you uh, check the compatibility, you test the code. So that's how you create your first pull request. That's exactly how, how you do. In case you're having any doubts or anything, uh, I'll be up to answer it. But I think uh, I left some time. We were short of time. It seems that we don't have any questions, but I just want to let you know that if you come up with any questions after the session, maybe uh, you can send it to us or uh, we can send it to maybe Kushi and discuss it together and send an answer if you have anything. But I think it was a very great session. I'm sure that I understand it much more than before. So, so thank you for that. And if anyone has a question, just feel free to unmute yourself or write the chat. Um, uh, hi everyone, thank you Kushi for the presentation, it was really nice. Thank you so much uh, everyone. I yeah. uh, you know, made my, <laughs> I took my best time uh, to explain you all everything. Just in case you all, just a second, uh, just in case you got any doubts further on, or you would like to ex uh, you would like me to explain everything again so you can contact me uh, i'll just share my linkedin i wouldn't share uh, much but oh i shared the wrong link i think uh, here's my linkedin just in case you got any doubts anything uh, you can just approach me and i'll be really really happy to help you all in any way ahead and it was really